everyone, it's me, Kirsten. So welcome to a little mini vlog to go alongside this month's vlog. I really hope you enjoy what I've written this month. It's actually on a topic that works for both writing and painting. So I was quite excited to find a subject that could speak to both. It's all about blank space, for want of a better description, and whether what we don't say or what we don't paint is actually can be as powerful as what we do put on the canvas or on our page. So do let me know what you think in the comments on my blog and you'll see that this month it's actually been inspired by the work of Elizabeth Stroud. I've mentioned her before as one of my newly discovered favourite authors. She has a very refined, very empathetic and really engaging style. In fact, Elizabeth Stroud has also influenced what I'm reading this month. I was researching interviews about her when I was writing this month's blog and came across an author that she identified as one of her biggest inspirations. That author was, where has he got to? William Trevor. So William Trevor is actually probably most famous as a short story writer, but this is one of his novels. So be ready for him to also pop up in some blog content very soon. Both he and Elizabeth Strout have a very classy, very, elegant style of writing that's very compassionate nonetheless and they're very precise in how they use their words so I'd like to be compassionate I don't know whether I'll ever be precise I'm not sure that's quite my style but it's my aspiration if not my style so yeah William Trevor reading currently um, this is one of the best things about working in a library makes it slightly shiny but you can get a lot of books very quickly in terms of painting I was quite excited to announce on social media recently that I'm going to be selling my paintings in person at the Park Lane Market in Glasgow on Sunday the 29th of April. So do come along if you're in the Glasgow area at that time, I'd love to see you, say hello to my soul. And so I'm currently working on some paintings to take to the market. Obviously it's quite tricky to gauge how many, where they'll sell none at all, whether they'll sell quite a number, hopefully that. Um, you never know so I'm working on my most classic paintings making sure that I've got kind of original versions to take and, and share with visitors at the market so one might be something like my willow tree painting I really love creating them and just doing it as subtle as I can really achieving sort of different effects with watercolour um, or my classic of classics my cherry blossom paintings yay you'll have seen versions just like her popping up on social media and places like that so yeah, really looking forward to the market. Before that, however, very excited about Saturday because I'm going to the Bali. You know I love my Bali so much. So Grandma and I are hitting the matinee. We're going to see Highland Fling, which is a collaboration between Scottish Bali and Matthew Bourne. An absolutely ideal combination. Really looking forward to that. And actually thinking about what I'm going to wear. Not that, it really, not that it really matters what I wear to the ballet, but it's nice to have an occasion that isn't dog walking or painting. So let me show you a couple of options. And if style is your thing, do let me know what you think. One might be for a dress option. I have this from Jules. Jules is a great brand for kind of outdoors wear sort of country style. Um, and it's got cherry blossom. You know, I love my cherry blossom. But the other thing I'm tempted with is this tea actually from Alexa Chung's label. This was a birthday present way back in June and I haven't been able to wear it yet because the weather has been so atrocious there were like no summer occasions. So I'm thinking of pairing this with a blazer with heels. Let me know your favourite uh, if, if style's your thing. And the only other thing to mention is I have, as a tiny tree lover, a new real life tiny tree. This is my new bonsai very kindly given to me by my mum for Easter. Not because bonsais are an Easter thing or anything like that, just that she knows that I've always loved them. I used to have one a couple of years ago. So if anyone has any bonsai care tips, please do let me know. I think she's just about due a water today or certainly tomorrow. And she's, she's obviously a she, I just get that vibe from her. Love her very much, excited to take care of her. So if all goes well, she shall be popping up in paintings and in painting backdrops before too long. But that's been my week. Uh, I really hope you're having a good one and really hope you enjoy this month's blog. Speak to you again soon. Bye!